Tons of new skins, accessories, and different types of portraits are coming out this week. And Cypher Rush is real now, even in custom modes. For more news like this, stick around for this week's episode of This Week in Identity 5. Welcome back everyone to another episode of This Week in Identity 5, where we talk about what happened in last week's patch, what we expect from this patch, and things that we can expect from the future, along with a sprinkle of rumours and leaks. We've got quite an eventful week coming up for us this week, but before we get straight into that, we need to talk about what we got last week, because we got quite a lot of interesting things last week, not things that I wasn't really expecting. The first thing that we got that we did expect was that we got the Waxed Artist, we got the Coordinator and Barmaid skins, we got the S tier for wax Artist and the two A tiers for Barmaid and Coordinator. Based on a Spanish traditional clothing, I also think that there's a little bit of a French kind of accent to it. I don't think they went completely down the Spanish route, but there is some things that are Spanish, like the flamenco dress, the Spanish bullfighting traditional clothing for barmaid and stuff like that. But there is a little bit of a hint in the kind of clothing for the wax artist himself that has both Spanish and a little bit of French kind of inspiration. So they took inspiration from those two countries and that time period overall. We of course also got the new Hunter the Wax Artist and I personally still haven't seen him at all. I haven't got him in the uh, the essence and I haven't played against him. And I have played quite a lot of survivor matches but still I just haven't seen him at all and nobody has played him as far as I know. I've heard that some people think he's really broken and then the majority and a lot of streamers that I have seen play against him really do think that he is kind of quite underpowered at the moment. Another thing that we did expect was that we were going to get the Lucky Roll event. So if you got any of those portraits or portrait frames that they were offering, then good. I'm glad that you had enough luck to get those because they are quite rare. But if you did get trial cards, I guess that's good because you can now test out new characters and A tier skins, especially since Halloween is coming up. You might want to test out a fun, exciting skin. With last week's update, they also announced that there were some update rewards. This is to kind of incentivize players to update their game on both an, on the mobile client to make sure that nobody falls behind with the updates. By logging in and updating your phone client version, so on your mobile, you update the game, you'll get a reward that is um, some trial cards, a portrait frame that is exclusive, and also 188 clues. But you need to do this quickly, so if you haven't played the game for a while, quickly log in before the 25th of November. This is the last date where you'll get these rewards from updating the game. We had some interesting events this week as well. We had the Time of Reunion Prologue event that I think is leading up to the event that's coming in November, but I'm not completely sure. You can participate in this event right now to be able to earn 8,888 clues, unless by the time of this video it's finished, I can't really remember right now, but you can get some clues if you win. You have to complete some missions and things like that to complete it. I personally haven't participated in this event. I haven't had time to, but I'm sure that somebody in the comments will explain how to do it if you do not know how to do it yourself. One thing that I got to experiment on my stream, something that came out with the patch that not many people even noticed in the patch notes. Also, if you want to check out the stream, I stream every Thursday and Saturday. The links will be down in the description below. We got some new AI bots added to the game, and those are Mind's Eye, Magician, and Perfumer. I was worried a little bit about the Mind's Eye bot, because right now the bots are still quite powerful. If you're not playing a hunter that has a lot of map pressure, or you're playing as a hunter that you aren't completely familiar with, now even the bots will cypher rush you, and possibly you'll get a tie. The Mind's Eye bot will now use the cane quite often to work out where you are, and obviously there's the decoding buff that she has of the 120% or 130%, I can't remember. I didn't see Perfuma use the perfumes, although apparently they did in the stream, I just missed it. The Magician did use his wands, but I feel like they need to work on the Magician bot a little bit because he was a little bit broken during the match. Again, this is all very strange because they keep on adding so many new AI bots to the game, and there doesn't seem to be an exact purpose for it. If it's for practice, then that's very nice, but also they're putting so much effort into it and so much time into making these things work that I feel like there's an ulterior motive. Now moving on to what we can expect from this week's patch, we have the Halloween lead up and Halloween event overall that has some really exciting things happening this year with some really beautiful skins and accessories that you can get. So the first thing that we are getting is we are getting the Phoenix skin for Embalmer that I'm very happy about that there's a character named after me, well technically not named after me probably, but you know still. 
You can get this skin by participating in the missions, I believe, as well as receiving clues, fragments, inspirations, a special portrait frame, and a special portrait if you complete daily login check-ins. There will also be two portraits for you to choose from, but you could only choose one of the two as far as I understand. So make sure you have a look at them now, you'll have them on the screen before, and choose which one that you really want to get. You can either get the Embalmer one, or you can get a Blue Phoenix one. I think everybody knows which one I'm going to pick. By playing matches and completing missions, you can also receive some other skins. We've got the Dancer A tier costume, that is actually a uh, cosplay, you could say, of Soul Weaver's skin. I've forgotten the name of the skin, but it's the white one with the red crystal, but they have a lot of similarities. And uh, that's what she's cosplaying for, or wearing as a costume for Halloween. I think that's very interesting and exciting. We also are getting a Fista B tier costume, that is quite nice. It's nothing super special, but I do like how the blue tentacles are very neon colored. That does look very nice. We're also getting a exclusive emote this year that is very, very detailed. They've added the pumpkin lantern emote. I think it is specifically for the characters that are released in this event. We'll be able to hold up a pumpkin lantern for a few seconds or it's a kind of a short animation, but it's quite nice as well. With the Halloween event, they're also bringing back some of the old Halloween costumes and accessories that were released in previous years. We'll be getting Ripper's S tier back to the shop. So this means that you can buy it. It's the Count skin with the red claws, along with his A tier accessory that makes his fog red. We also have Sia's A tier skin, the Huntsman, that is a very popular skin. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to that one, along with Mad Eye's B tier costume, that if you like Mad Eyes, that I do, I'm not sure I might get it. We're also getting a B tier accessory for Bloody Queen that was from previous years as well. We have a lot to look forward to as well as probably some uh, bug fixes and maybe some adjustments but they haven't announced those yet so who knows what we can expect from this week's kind of balancing at least. As for some leaks and some rumors we don't have too many. We have had a possible Bloody Queen skin that has been rumored um, there are some pictures of it, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to have any pictures by this release. But if I can, they'll be on the screen right now. We also should be getting the Time of Reunion event pre-registration happening soon because that has just been released in the Chinese version. So that means you can get tons of prizes. I think there are some memory spheres along with some other things. You can go and see the website right now in the Chinese version. It is uh, live, so you can go and see all the things. And if you know Chinese, you can go and translate it. But we should be getting that probably the following week but I'm not sure how that will work. We'll find out. Now let's enter the talk in the manner where I respond to your comments that you left on my recent videos and I'll see what I have to say about them. Diego Parra Lopez has said, are you going to do another one? I would love to send mine as well. This is referring to the art video that I recently did where I asked people on my Discord to do some more art and Diego, yes, I am planning on doing more. And if you guys want to participate, then you need to make sure that you join the server. There are tons and tons of great artists there. There is an art gallery section where people upload all of their art. And every day I go in there and I'm just amazed how amazing you guys are as artists. So if you guys want to have another video like this, another art video where you guys send in art, I would love to have tons of art to be able to show off in a video. So make sure you join the server. And I'll announce something there when I plan to do the video. Fiona says, all of this art was amazing. Once again, I really wanted to thank all of those artists that sent in art for the last video. They were incredible. I am such a big fan of all of your art. And once, as I just said, the art gallery is full of incredible art. And there are some pieces that I really think should be on Identity 5's Twitter because they are just incredible. Dr. Wolf has said, they are plants. And apparently the hunters get more water than the survivors. This is referring to my little shorts that I did the other day talking about how hunters seem to be much taller than survivors and that it's a big mystery as to why this is. It's a bit strange that some of the characters in the game don't realize that they're bigger. Dr. Wolf thinks that they are plants and that the hunters get a bit more water than the survivors. That is quite possible. Maybe in the manor the hunters get treated better and all the survivors just don't get any food. Could be. Who knows? Are you excited for the new Embalmer skin that's coming out with its beautiful starry effects? Please tell me down in the comments below and tell me which portrait you are going to choose. Are you going to choose the Embalmer one or are you going to choose the Phoenix one? I'm slightly biased there. Make sure you tell me down in the comments below. Whilst you're down there, like the video please and subscribe if you'd like to get some more news every single week, every single Tuesday about Identity 5 and 
I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.